Good afternoon, morning, nighttime, whatever time it is, Timbercrest family. We are here to make an exciting announcement. Through working with the teachers and some great ideas from students, Miss Miles and I, <clears throat> Miss Brian and Miss Kuches, have decided to host a FSA celebration this year. So we're super excited and we are going to be having music, dancing, food, and it is going to be a blast. Sounds and it like is, a lot of fun. It is, and it's going to be during school. So you get a little brain break um, from your normal routine. And, and I'm just so excited I about know, it. Me too. Me too. With that said, though, in order to participate in this FSA celebration, you are going to have to earn it. And what we will be doing starting today and leading up through FSA and after FSA is complete, we are going to be looking for students who have earned this celebration. And there are three ways that you, three things that you have to do to earn it. First of all, Ms. Miles, all right. tell First us some of all, one. Whenever you are taking an assessment, and particularly in the FSA, use your time wisely. Make sure you've read the passages, make sure you've read the, all the questions carefully, and make sure that you have bubbled every answer. Go back, make sure there are no blanks left on your assessment. Number two, you have to do your best every single day. You have to come to school with a great attitude and you've got to be ready to show what you know. Not only leading up to the assessment, but during the FSA assessment. Okay, and third, use what you have learned in your classroom already. Your teachers have given you tools and strategies that you can use in the classroom to help you be successful on the FSA and actually any of the tests that you take. You can use these tools and strategies. We are so excited for this event. We have never done any kind of FSA celebration. Mm -hmm. And we know that every single student in third, fourth, and fifth grade are going to meet the three criteria to earn it. One, use your time wisely. Mm -hmm. Two, do your best every single day. And three, use what you have learned yes. in order to be successful. Mm -hmm. More details will be coming. You are not gonna wanna miss this. Now your teachers are gonna give you some more information regarding what examples of use your time wisely, do your best, and use what you've learned. They're gonna give you examples of what that looks like, but I can't wait to join you in this awesome celebration. Have a great day. Bye, Bye guys.